to see me, sir. Ah, yes, come in, Hennemore. I've got rather an important job for you. Oh, dear, sir. As you'll be aware, my best and oldest friend, Jock, is coming in this afternoon and we're to have a round of golf. Now, I'll be in a meeting until four, so when he arrives at half three, I want you to show him in here, tell him to make himself comfortable, and invite him to inspect my newly acquired set of antique golf clubs once used by Edward the Seventh. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Got it, sir. Edward the Seventh. One important thing to remember is that Jock is a recovering alcoholic, and at this stage in his rehabilitation, it is absolutely vital that on no account should he get even the slightest whiff of liquor. Right you are, sir. He was an extremely violent drunk in his day, Hennemore, and bitterly obsessed with his failure to break through as a golf pro, an eventuality which, when in his cups, he lay squarely at the door of American golfer Jack Nicklaus. Oh, right, sir. On an unrelated note, my wife has just sent me this rather handsome and handsomely stocked drinks cabinet, exactly in the shape of a set of Edwardian golf clubs. Oh, that's nice, sir. Isn't it? Now, you've probably already thought of this, but on no account should you show the fully stocked drinks cabinet to the violent alcoholic Scotsman instead of the set of golf clubs. Absolutely, sir. OK, well, I'll just pop them both on this lazy Susan for now. <laughs> And remember, I don't want any screw-ups like last time. It's been a difficult year for transcosmic corridors, and the last thing we need is any kind of fracas. Don't you worry about it, sir.